We send vast volumes of electronic information every day. As volumes of data have increased, so has the importance and privacy of what we send. These days, everything from bank details, medical information, to private conversation and personal information are sent online. It has therefore become very important that data can both be compressed and encrypted before being sent. In this video, we take a look at what run length encoding and dictionary coding is. We have just looked at the importance of compression in the last video. As you will recall, lossless compression allows for a faithful reconstruction of the original file by a way of encoding data. One way of doing this is to use a compression algorithm called dictionary coding. This works by building up an index which we can visualise here as a table, where every data item in the file is recorded along with an indexed reference. The compressed file, once completed, now just consists of the dictionary index along with the sequence of occurrences needed to recreate the original file. In this example, a text message has been compressed using dictionary encoding. The original message can be reconstructed by supplying the dictionary index along with the sequence to access the index. Pause the video and see if you can reconstruct the original message. Check your answer. How did you do? Another method of lossless compression, which allows for a faithful recreation of the original file, is run length encoding. This method makes use of the fact that many files contain redundant repeating data. If an item occurs many times, there's no need to store it every time. All we need to store is the item once and then an index with how often the item is repeated. An example of this are images. Take a look at this example. It's an image made up of the moon. As we know, this image is made up of pixels. In this example, there are many examples of adjacent black pixels. There's no need to store every one of these before sending. They're all identical. All we need to do is store an index to the location of the first black pixel and then how often it's repeated. Another example would be source code. As mentioned in the previous video, it's essential that files such as this use lossless compression. We use lots of white space when writing source code in order to make it easy for us to read. Every blank space is typically taking up 8 bits of storage. Again, we can use run length encoding to store the start location of each new set of spaces and then how many times these are repeated.